rough night in Clawville. What now? Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. One bizarre case to solve. What a pleasant surprise. The looks the cop was in person. <sighs> Never heard that one before. You here for a good old-fashioned beating? A dame to die for. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what does she really want? Lawrence? Let loose your animal instincts. After you, boss bird. Because tonight, you'll have to go wild. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. The legendary chicken police is back together. It's an amazing news. Say, partner, are you chicken enough? Hello and welcome everyone. We're back. This is Jan. I'm Anna. Hello. Um, and since we've been talking a lot with the developers uh, the past two days, and I thought uh, we show you a bit more about the game itself. Um, so today it's going to be uh, a bit more let's play. Um, we're going to show you the demo. And Jan will be playing. Yes, which will be very interesting because um, I did not have the opportunity yet to really play as much into the game as my dear lovely testers did. So um, so Anna will be very judgmental. It will be great. <laughs> I will just be a total noob. Um, but I think I will manage. And um, yeah, we want to showcase uh, basically um, the game. So we will be playing the demo. Mm -hmm. Um, this demo you can also play yourselves already, so it's live on Steam, so you just have to, uh, have to head over over there and then you can play. So, without further ado, we stop talking about playing and start playing. Let's go. Okay, so we are here in game in the demo. I think so far I cannot do anything wrong, right? So I, I start a new game yeah, and suppose. we will have a look. Yes. Now the you should also hear something. Stripes on her body. She was the first womanly thing in my place for a long time. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. My mistress's partner is Hobart Wessler, or as most people know him, Ibn Wessler, the kingpin. Exactly. Feathery gods, help me. Before I visit the club, I have to take a detour. I've got a feeling that this case isn't going to be a one-man job. And there's only one bird in this city I can trust. My ex-partner, Marty. He's going to be at the station. I can only hope he'll be willing to talk to me. I knew where to find Marty. At the station, we'd always draw straws about holiday duty. Marty never joined in. He always took the New Year's Eve shift, even though he had someone to go home to. I understood. Ten years ago, we survived the night the press called the Bloody New Year. Forgotten by Clawville, but not by us. We both left parts of ourselves behind that night. Dramatic. Okay, so we are getting thrown right into the game, um, at least for the demo. So I think the, we kind of skipped a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So the demo starts a little bit later in there. Yeah. Um, so basically we got a mysterious dame that was asking for our help um, and we you know, found out that she needs help with Ivan Wessler and there's a lot of different things happening. Yes. That's what I got so far. Yeah, I think I will just, you know, go ahead and uh, talk to these two fellows over here, like yeah. Phyllis. Phyllis, I will talk with Well, us. look at that. Hey, Sonny, what you scratching out over here? 
I heard the big boss threw you out. Tough luck, boys. I may not be on duty, but I'm still a cop, just like you. Well, more than you. Hey, you don't have to be so picky, sure, <laughs> bud. By the way, you're on luck. Blood boils not in tonight. The lawyer's in charge. They're so oh, funny. Oh, God. <laughs> that clumsy it's buffalo okay. is here tonight. If he doesn't end up in a cell again, he's lucky. <laughs> you got it. You looking for Marty, eh? I see you're still the brains around here, Phyllis. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for Marty. Birds of a feather flock together. I see you're still the funny guy around here. You'll find the giant feather duster at the shooting range. As always. Hey, Royce. I'm telling you this because maybe you'll be able to understand. If this prickly shithead makes another <laughs> racist remark, I'll strangle him with his own raincoat. Language, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that. Hey, whose side are you on, you jerk? <laughs> oh, great. man. So I love those two. A little hedgehog and... Uh, the porcupine. A porcupine, yeah, that's the word. <laughs> it's it's just so great. I, I love the voice acting. Like, they made a fa yeah. a, did a fantastic job. It's like yeah. those... Every character is, like, really unique and special. And yeah. oh, so great. So, we can look around here. I mean, generally, I know what to do. I should uh, check out for Marty, but... No, I'm a little explorer, so I want to see what's uh, yeah. going on here. For the crown, for the king. Every time this poster disappears, good old Blood Boil puts it right back, immediately. I tore it down at least three times already. Actually, it's a kind of passive-aggressive game for us with the chief. Ah, okay, so it seems we are... Well, our boss is uh, not a very good fella, or <laughs> we don't seem to really... Um, <laughs> He's a bit notorious. <laughs> a bit notorious. <laughs> Today, I used to patrol the city streets in one of these. I don't miss it, but it used to have its advantages. A bit notorious. Okay, so what else can I do? can look over my notebook and see some clues. Okay. Victim. So right now there's like a lot of threats that are getting written on the wall, right? So someone's painting, painting bad words on the... Yeah, uh, Natasha is receiving threats, uh, the, the cat uh, lady mm -hmm. over there. And um, you're on the case to find out where the threats come from and who's behind all those. Ah, yes. okay. Ah, okay. So, this is still a sketch since we did not meet her yet. Yes. Okay, can I, so I can basically... This is my notebook as I am a yeah. I, as I am a detective. As I am a detective, I write down everything and everything I find out will end up here. So yes. I can always, you know... Yeah, it will update whenever you get a new, new piece of information or when you meet someone new, if you unlock a new location. Everything uh, can be uh, accessed here to find out more. Okay, good. And I also have an inventory. Yes. Sometimes and you yes. will receive. I haven't dusted items. you off in a while, partner. Looks like. Okay, and the flyer for the Czar Club. Mm -hmm. oh. Molly, my ex-wife. What do you have to do with all this? Oh, okay, so my ex-wife is also involved somehow in all of this? Somehow. Interesting, okay, I see. Now, since, because everybody's probably... Again. Clawville Police Department. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane <laughs> cult's secret hideout over the years. Anyway, the place holds the secrets of the ages. And some drunk pigs in the basement. <laughs> Just a regular police station. <laughs> Just a regular police station. <laughs> yeah, so if you haven't noticed already, guys, this is a mature game. Although there's people with animal heads. So are there like 
uh, animals or animal people? Animal people is maybe like the right <laughs> word for that. Um, there's like a very mature to tone going on and, it's, uh, and yeah. I really love it. It's so authentic, it's especially with like the time this is uh, portrayed in. Uh, it's, it's great. So we are here at the police station. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that we can explore. There's Bosco. Okay, this, this guy sounds uh, amazing. Holy wild ones. Look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy as always. Eh, I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You know how it goes. And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. <laughs> I didn't know the lizards could fly. <laughs> so, Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you? Still dying? <laughs> yeah, but pretty I'm much dying all the time. I'm 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. <laughs> All right, all right. No need to bite. I wasn't trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Let's hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. He's trying to hide it, but he's not the same bird. Well, I don't think we'll have a teary reunion thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad, not him. Okay, it's then. So we got simple, shot. Bosco, mm -hmm. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No worries, pal. It's all got to do with that bloody New Year's that was mentioned oh. at, the, at the beginning. Um, it was a quite traumatic evening. <laughs> Right. So <laughs> this is the poor fellow that uh, Bosco found. I remembered something from a dev stream that Bosco is actually the name of a dog from yeah. one of the developers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mort, you scabbiest beast. What oh. the hell did you do? <laughs> it's Morty to you, sunny boy. <laughs> It's so good. Time. Oh man. There was just a bit of trouble in the bar and uh, someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. I'm as blind as a bat, am I right? <laughs> a lizard Did that that's using... Did that bother you, Morty? Well, great. Listen, sonny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. <laughs> Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Uh, Jesse is a good boy, Sonny. And he's good to me, believe me. <laughs> oh, this guy's oh shady. God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? Oh, of course he's using me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Still, Sonny, I have no one else. Oh, you poor understand Mort. that? Don't even you deserve better, pal. By the way, <laughs> you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> but neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, sonny boy. I really am. Are you... Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. <sighs> I don't talk to that insane owl. Oh, man. Uh, Damn it's, right. It's, it's so... Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo sh... Shit. <laughs> hey, be careful with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. Uh, <laughs> like I care. I'll so. try to speak for you, but keep it down till then, okay? You don't need this shit, and I don't need it either. Sonny boy, you've always been a good friend. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. <laughs> I just love how they incorporated the different animal races in, yeah. in every single idiom and yeah. they always 
tell it's each so other good. you have to be careful because that's offensive. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, it's so great. It was just, yeah, okay, this is just like some random guy yeah. standing over there. How much could he have to say? Good God, this guy is telling me his whole life story. Yeah. So it is so much great dialogue in here and it's like yeah. you're really also glued to it and it's just so enjoyable to hear like yeah. the dynamic going on and it's like you know with the accent so mm -hmm. um is this like a commodore commodore varan or is that the right word even in english or salamander uh, don't know i, don't I mean know. in german it's commodore varan so i would sure. suppose some, some kind of lizard some thing. kind of lizard and then we have a, a kiwi Right? No, not Kiwi. What's it called? Uh, hey, Monica. I'm not sure what they're called. Maybe the audience can help us. Help, help out. I'm not a bird expert. You're not a bird expert. I am meter. So? Love uh. you guys. Thank you. <laughs> now tell us what bird that is. <laughs> no help there. I think this was, this was like the, the, the one from New Zealand. Yeah, it might be a kiwi. But judging from the, the beak, yeah. it kind of looks like a kiwi, but I'm not sure. Ibis? Ibis? I, I don't know. Maybe. It's, so, it's so good. It's like the old, yeah. the old uh, picture what books that you had yeah. as a children. Like, this so is a lion. <laughs> this is a cat. Hey, boss bird. Okay. And it's also interesting that this, um, it's New Year's Eve right now in the yeah. game. So also last time at New Year's Eve something bad happened, something yes. very bad. And now it seems um, something bad is happening again. Every day is a holiday <laughs> I since see. I got out of here. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but... First, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Like always. And if he carries on like that, he's going to use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You all know right. how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. They're still okay. salty. So just it seems like it. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, boss bird. All right. I will say we'll head over to the shooting range. Oh, um, but, you know, still so much to explore. Maybe maybe we don't. And also the audience is going crazy. It's like, yeah, <laughs> carry on. But, but there's just so much to see. I'm, I'm an explorer, okay? This is how I play <laughs> the game. Deal with it. <laughs> City's crest. The lion, the fox, the stork, and the sheep representations of four kinds of animal spirituality. The reptiles were left out for some reason. There's some kind of historical explanation to that, but I've never been good at history, and I'm not even from Clawville. Okay. There's a little details like that that just tell you that there's so much lore behind this whole universe. It's really interesting. Exactly. Honor, strength, unity. <laughs> For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> okay. Shooting range. Let's this do it. This is gonna be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand and I was bleeding. Yikes. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. Okay, Mr. McChicken. What's up? Marty looks good. I will look at him first. Big and loud and angry as always. Okay, I took all my courage. Let's talk hey, with him. Hey, Marty. Oh, well, look who's here. Hello, boss bird. What, are you lost? This is the PD building, you know? Got this shit, Marty. We're better than this. <laughs> so salty. Oh, yeah. Well, at least you are. Better than anyone, huh? Marty, come on, let's forget that. What's past is past. Yeah, easy for you to say, Sonny. Damn it, Marty, you shot me, remember? I almost bled to death. Hell yeah, I remember. Unfortunately, my aim wasn't good enough. I need your help, okay? That's what you want to hear. Well, it's a start. Okay, I've said it. I won't do it again. <laughs> yeah, right. So, are you in? Just for tonight. 
Small case. We'll wrap it up in no time. Probably not. <laughs> uh, what kind of case? A personal one. How personal? Very. The kind of case where if you come with me right now, you're not on duty anymore. Ooh, damn, Sonny. Stop it right there. I'm in. Okay. That's, that's it? Uh, do you know how boring life is here without your stupid reckless shit? Soon enough, I'll shoot all the ammo in here out of boredom. Right, so tell me, what's it about? I'll tell you in the car. Ooh, can I bring Bertha? Ah, oh, for the love of... Marty, this is a routine case. You can't bring your shotgun, okay? Bertha stays. <laughs> okay, okay. But at least Susie can come, right? Uh, all right, Susie can come. That's <laughs> what I want to hear. Great. I love this kind of love-hate relationship they have. Yeah, classical buddy cop yeah. uh, romance kind of going on in there. Yeah. Oh, it's so great. The thing is, you know, normally when you when you like let's play a game, you tend to talk a lot, but since the characters are having so much dialogue, yeah. it's just doesn't feel right and the game um, talks for you <laughs> yeah the tame uh, game talks freely there okay now can we shoot i want to shoot light switch okay shooting practice Let's go. oh yeah okay get a hint no let's go bad guy okay bad guy not a bad guy reload uh, oh damn it oh that okay was a good okay guy. <laughs> You know, there will always be collateral damage. <laughs> oh, sensitivity is a bit... Okay. You were lucky there, Mr. Elephant, yeah. that I just had to reload. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I did not expect that. No. He, he, he just wants to get shot. I mean, how else can you explain that he's just... No, oh, okay, no, no, kids and babies. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Time is running out. Oh. oh man, I can spend hours just hunting my own <laughs> records, like just like the old, old flash games. <laughs> Always still get some time. Uh -huh. Oh no, don't reload. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. So close. No, 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 go away. Uh, uh, ah. And, and I, okay. And I left the shooting range. <laughs> we should definitely fix that. Yeah. We should. <laughs> the button placement is a bit unfortunate oh, man. at the end. Yeah. It is. We will do it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I know. Not to shoot elephant guy. No, we're trying to play an adventure game here, <laughs> and the first thing we are doing is starting to shoot stuff. So. It's so peaceful, this game. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I don't think so. Non-violent. Relaxing. <laughs> this is not pile-up on a wrong <laughs> game. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, yeah. What was your record when you were testing this game a lot? I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, that, that. Um, I think maybe maybe about ten thousand. I'm not very good at this. Any okay. Game. Then I have to step up my game. You'll have to ask uh, Yona and Felix. They've. Tested. They've tested a this whole uh, high score stuff. Okay. Yes. Yeah. They're a lot better at that. Ooh. I mean, we have to, you know, get prepared because we never know what will happen when we are out on the streets <laughs> with yeah. our new old partner, Marty. <laughs> yeah. So I think. Whoa. There you go. Okay, Marty was definitely better. <laughs> 
Ah, it was not. I mean, we I at mean, least got four stars. He's spending all day at the shooting range. Yes. He's been told, so he doesn't do anything else all day. Okay, let's. Uh, I think we know. We know ready yeah. to start. I think we're ready. Um, detective work. Yeah. Okay, we will leave everything in order here. What's over here? Bye, Mandy. See you soon. <laughs> You've named the poster girl. You a bit lonely these days? <laughs> You're one to talk. I've heard you muttering to her. What, me? To a poster? <laughs> Don't be silly. Hey, you, if you... Let, let the, the am am ammunition boxes open again, I kick your chicken ass. <laughs> Well, that was Marty. He really loves the shooting range. Yeah. Don't be messy at the shooting range. And I think I get I get conflicting messages from this image. This yeah. is this is always yeah. it's confusing. <laughs> but on the hand, it, on the other hand, it's just so good. Of like all still drink coffee, different uh, animals and mm -hmm. how they just made the poses. Or yeah. it's just it's so great. Yeah. My only poison, except for guns, of course, and women. We could visit our old haunt. What do you think? Oh, a nice cup of Zip's coffee in the hop dog. I'm in. Oh, and maybe we'll get into a little <laughs> fight too, huh? If it comes to that, I'm leaving you without a blink. Well, yeah, like last time. <laughs> Those were uh, different times, Marty, with a different Sonny. Uh, well, all right, to the city then. You don't have to come with me, you know. Okay, okay, I know. Let's go. Ah, Sonny, there's a little problem. Not so little, and it smells too. What the furry hell uh -oh. is Blood Boil doing here? Ah, well, it seems we can't avoid speaking to him. Oh, yes, we can. You have your rifle with you. Oh. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Sort of. Oh no, this is Blood Boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't want to talk with him, why should we? <laughs> yeah, fine. Let's get it. I mean, let's... it's our boss. Okay, let's, let's get it over with. The two pigeons back together. <laughs> and without my permission, of course. Like oil. Chief Blood Boy. Damn. <laughs> what was that, Santino? Nothing, sir. What a lovely evening. Am I right? I don't want to hear your crowing, Santino. What the hell are you doing here? Pigeon crowing? It's not hey, this guy, hey, it's just hey, careful a careful with the racist barking, old hound. <laughs> oh, oh, it's getting hot in here. Can we just skip this part? It's New Year's after all. And you're on duty, if I'm not mistaken, Martin. Where do you think you're going? That's it, boss. To serve and protect. Sonny was in the neighborhood and stopped by to say hi. He's a cop too, right? Only on paper, and you know that very well, detective. I don't want any trouble, boss. I just wanted to say hi to Monica, and then this feather pillow showed up. I invited him to grab a quick coffee. You can allow him that much, can't you? Your coffee breaks usually end up in shooting or brawling, chickens. Oh, just a coffee, boss, I swear. Oh, have a heart. It's New Year's Eve, and I haven't seen my old partner for so long. How touching. You shot him with a shotgun, if I remember. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even that. Family quarrel. For all the marrow bones of the world, get the hell out of my sight. Have a lovely evening, boss. You especially. Fuck off right now, <laughs> Santino. Language, bro. <laughs> he reminds me so much, so much of my old accountant teacher back then. Okay. <laughs> I just had the realization that. Was he also being so mean to you and turning you he to was, F off? <laughs> he's, he was generally not a very nice person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> but he oh, was a good great. teacher. Well, that's the thing. Sometimes Rather mean, but uh, good teachers are like best persons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are not the best person? Okay. Uh, so he doesn't want us to be here, you anyways. Still drink that garbage. I mean, when we can. Hey, it's not garbage, okay? Yeah, once they used to heal with bloodletting okay. too, Marty. 
Don't believe everything that's on these labels. You're not a little chick anymore. Okay, <laughs> Dad. Ah, okay, so he doesn't like us to drink all the stuff out of the vending machine. <laughs> okay, we get some some new clues as it seems. People. Ah, okay, now Lots Blood Boy is here. Mord. Okay, and the places that we have to visit. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, then. We can't avoid speaking with the chief first. And it would be nice to say goodbye to Monica, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, we talked to the chief, so... Back to Monica. Back to Monica. Kiwi, Ibis, Ibis, however you want to call. Still no one in the chat helping us out with which bird it is. When you left... Oh. When Blood Boil kicked me out, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> so that affected even her. Why? Because she can do her job in peace, finally? <laughs> You know that's not what I mean. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, Monica. We're leaving, sweetheart. Stay safe, boys. I'm glad to see you two together again. I'm afraid you're alone with that. <laughs> hey, don't make me change my mind. You won't, Marty. I bet you can't wait to get mixed up in some... Se yep, that's true. I'm serious, boys. Be careful out there. We're big birds, Monica. We can take care of ourselves. Okay, but take care of each other, too. Will do, Monica. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now. Oh, okay, off to the map. So. We should go to the Zar Club, right? right? Or maybe first back to the, to the hotel? We can go back to the hotel and... See if you find more. Yeesh. Okay. My condolences, pal. I see your cleaning lady died. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in our office now. Yeah, okay. she yeah. set foot in the bedroom That's where once. Sunny I stays. haven't seen her since. Uh. I didn't dare to go after her. Oh, I wouldn't want to go in there either. But what's that smell? Yeah, cigarettes and whiskey. <laughs> yeah, with a hint of dirty laundry, but no, this is lavender? Ah, that. Now that's got to be the Ibanez dame. You know, the broad who gave me the letter. And the job, obviously. <laughs> ah, pretty, huh? I can smell it. She's an exotic, too. An Impala, maybe? Furry hell. That's why Chief Inspector Blood Boil hates you so much. <laughs> He's jealous because your nose is better than a clucking bloodhound. <laughs> the bitter old dog. He just hates all foul. Yeah, true. Except for Monica. Monica is a fairy, not a bird. <laughs> oh, so, Marty. What now? Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. We got to find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what she really wants. Okay. Mm, uh, after you, boss bird, I wouldn't like to touch anything in here anyway. If it's okay, <laughs> I'll just stand around and stare out the window. <laughs> sure, just do it quietly. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, pile of paper. Have you writer. started on your great novel yet? I've already started working on my will, but I realize I'd have to leave everything to you, so <laughs> clock that. Huh. Pity. Well, I've always wanted a chicken coop smelling like old socks and bourbon. You'll have to earn it first, Marty. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> okay, a phone. Okay, we can probably call someone here, but we don't have a number. Drawer. Okay, empty. Nothing for us to gather. Do we have our gun with us? That's important. Okay, badge, gun, cigarette, all good. Books I'm never gonna read. Maybe nobody ever has. <laughs> I don't even know where the key is. Whatever's inside is gonna stay there forever. <laughs> okay. Ah, well that's... Uh, different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not necessarily better. So this is them. Yeah, the wild gentlemen. They were role models when I was a kid. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, you must have been a weird kid. Which 
Ain't surprising. My idols were the White Wolf and Super Squirrel. <laughs> the White Wolf, eh? <laughs> Explains a lot. <laughs> you know, when I was back in Averia, Clawville and the whole let's live together in peace bullshit seemed like an unattainable dream. Though, yeah, but look at it now. And what would have become of you if you hadn't ended up in Clawville? Maybe you'd even be happy? Perhaps. A wild gentleman. Those Those guys guys were something. Nowadays, I don't know what they were, or what I believed they were. Say, Bosbert, do you read poetry now? No. Why? Because you're oh. going nuts. Well, <laughs> thanks. I want to make that bigger. I want to see whether that's li like really the developers. I think it is. It's just them with different Suits hats. And different hats. Yeah. So who's Peter? Is he more like the old guy? Or I'm not sure. We should ask them. More like them. the fox. We should ask them. Who's who? <laughs> What's that? That's also like a, a mouse or something? Mouse, lioness, owl and the fox. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's really cool that, you know, this is not just like some, some random interaction stuff, that you actually get some valuable input out of that. So Everything you, has a meaning. So yeah. You can really explore and get to know all the lore, basically, mm -hmm. it is. I mean, they, they, they touched on that with the crest and like the different animal races and how it's uh, like the insects are segregated and all of this. So uh, it's really cool that they really build up the whole lore yeah. um, in this world, in this game world. So mm -hmm. it's really good. Uh -huh. <laughs> they even have a part in there. I see. <laughs> I see the wild gentleman. Huh? <laughs> Shout out to you guys if you're yeah. watching. <laughs> now, I think we switch off the light and we head over to the Czar Club. I think this is where the party is going mm -hmm. to be. Midnight had passed and the intoxicated madness kicked in. We could only crawl along Shalva District's main street toward downtown. The city's heart beat differently. Ancient buildings were defaced by neon signs and billboards, like half-drunk lovers on a fine leather sofa. Great old houses neighbored by garish modern blocks. A place that makes the head hurt. The Tsar's huge neon sign was visible for miles a blazing red sign advertised tonight's main attraction, the amazing Natasha. Boy. Ah, cops were never welcomed at places like this. They hoped we were too late for the show. We had to be inconspicuous, but it was never easy with this bird mountain by my side. <laughs> Ah, so this is the famous Czar Club. More like infamous, Marty. It's not for our kind, that's for sure. And I don't mean that they don't like foul. Well, at least we don't have to be afraid that they see you as a detective, Boss Bird. Okay. Very funny, Marty. So what are we gonna do now? We find Natasha, the broad who sent me the message, remember? But first, we need to get into the club. And Marty, please, don't monkey this up. <laughs> Excuse me? On behalf of the well-respected <laughs> and noble primate community of Clawville? Cut the crap, Marty. Let's focus on what we're here for, okay? <laughs> As you say, boss bird. I just love the contrast in the, like, in the cutscenes. Sonny is so sophisticated and poetic in yeah. the way he speaks and narr n narrates the whole story. And then in the scenes, he's just rude all the time. And <laughs> he uses so simple language. I just love the, the contrast. Oh, no, it's, it's really great. Yeah. Ah, Louis, an historical lady. Okay, we can make a poster over here. Rhino was also there. <laughs> they took all the animals that they could get. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when the Clawville Chronicle was a really high quality newspaper? You mean when they wrote something about us daily? Yeah. Yeah. What exactly happened to them? Okay, so they were that important as it seems. Mm -hmm. yeah, they got bored with us, Marty. 
And to be honest, so did I. But still, here we are, working together again. Funny, huh? Yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Just to add to all the, the animals that are uh, portrayed in the game, I think all the animals um, used in the game are listed in the credits. Uh, okay. Yeah, and even a small list of animals that were not used in the game because um, of them actually going extinct during the production. I, I, that's a really okay. nice, um, yeah, nice thing to add in the credits because it, it's just a little piece of information that gives you um, some, yeah. Some insights. Some insights. And also, you know, kind of creating a bridge to yeah. our other game, Endling, where um, extinction is just yeah. one of the themes. Yeah, so. I think it's really nice that they added that. And, yeah, it makes you conscious of, yeah, the whole animal kingdom always being... At a war with yeah. us humans, basically. Yeah. Yes, we are like the worst predator the predator there is, right? Yeah. The human. So it's good maybe that in this world there are no humans. Yeah, and we they're are actually considered a mythical creatures. Ah! Just to add to the lore. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, that's great. Oh, I'm, get, I'm, re, I'm getting really invested in this. So <laughs> just, you know, listening and reading through all the different dialogue, it's just great. So we'll continue oh, exploring. Look at that. Isn't that the Time-wise, name? we're all still fine, right? Yeah. Uh, we've got about 15 minutes left. Ah, oh, all good. It is, Marty. A brand new 942 Silver Hawk. Oh. Haven't seen such beauty since I left Iveria. Of all that's furry, whose is it? Maybe it's Ibn Wessler's. I guess he's no paper tiger. Yeah, he sounds like a fellow who drives around in one of these. Lucky bastard. <laughs> all right, let's get in there. That fella's built like a brick shit house. I don't think we'll be able to just <laughs> oh sneak past I just love the language. I'm just saying language, but I love it. <laughs> Wanna bet? A brick shit house. Wow. Not today, Marty. Remember, we must avoid suspicion. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. No trouble. I get it. It's okay, Bertha. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> what was that? Uh, nothing. Just the wind. <laughs> Did you bring Big Bertha with you? Gods, no. What are you thinking? What idiot would bring a shotgun to a club? <laughs> Was that a rhetorical question? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> All right, so I think we have to talk with the bouncer until we can get in, I guess. Talk with him. Howdy, pal. See. A buffalo. Great. Gentlemen, how can I help you on this wonderful chilly night? I was not expecting that. I was expecting a deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> and we're expected in the VIP lounge. My apologies, but I don't remember ever seeing you gentlemen here before. May I ask? Now stop right there, big guy. I get it. Yeah, I know exactly how this works. So what do you have to do to get in? Nothing's easier, sir. Are you on the list? The list? Yeah, I've... Uh, uh, <laughs> Classic. Uh, don't tell me you forgot. I'm afraid I did, Marty. Sorry, big guy, but I'm pretty sure we're not on the list tonight. That's a shame. I'm really sorry, sirs. In that case, you can't come in. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, thanks. My pleasure, gentlemen. Okay. So, let's just knock that giant out, shall we? Easy peasy. Let's Good just idea. not do that, shall we? <laughs> okay. He's always out for trouble. <laughs> yes. A little rascal, can we just... Let's just nope. knock okay, that out. No. Let's just... Okay. <laughs> okay. We will, we will try to reason within him. Okay. Hmm. Look, I really don't want any trouble, but... Okay, we will just show our badge. It is even more inconvenient for me, sir, but this place doesn't Oops. like uh, coppers. <laughs> 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 
I can't let just anybody in, and there are some I'm strictly forbidden to. Please, you have to understand. <laughs> Listen here, you cow. Oh, wow. Do you have any idea who we are? You ever read the papers? Of course, I know who you are, sir. I read the news and more. And I must admit, it's an honor to meet you in person, <laughs> Mr. Santino Featherland and Mr. Marty Machikin. The Pell of the Pantheres is one of my favorite books. <laughs> so oh, good. my God. Not the books again. So it would be terribly inconvenient for me if I had to use force <laughs> on you, gentlemen. What, what did you just say? <laughs> Relax, Marty. This guy has chicks like excited. you for breakfast. Yes. Uh, thanks for the information, pal. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you for understanding, gentlemen. And forgive me for my austere composition. No problem, Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay. So, winging or swinging our police badge was not the right no. thing to do. Guy, so, you know ask him about Mr. Hayworth. Lewis Hayworth. But of course. Mr. Hayworth is an impeccable gentleman, and also a frequent visitor of the club. Is that so? Good to know. And? I'm afraid that is all, monsieur. <laughs> okay, Louis. Think. Oh. Okay, I show it. That was Louis. Maybe Louis can help us out. Hey, oh, that's we your old friend, right? Wait, what was his name? Uh, Lawrence? Lamar? No, Liam. <laughs> Lewis. Yes, it's him. To be honest, Sonny, I always thought that guy's not all there in the head. Nobody's perfectly what? sane in Clawville, Marty. But if not for this old rabbit, I wouldn't be here today. I'll never forget that. Should I thank him for that? Or kill him for it? <laughs> You're reading my mind, boss. So? Sonny! My dear friend. <laughs> Hi, Lewis. This is my partner. But I'm sure you already know. You have no idea how happy I am to meet you, Mr. Marty. I'm a big admirer of your work. It, it just doesn't get old to, you know, explore and get to know all the different characters with, with their voices. It, this <laughs> is just so awesome. Pleasure's all mine, Lawrence. Lawrence? <clears throat> Anyways... <laughs> So, the legendary chicken police, back together? <laughs> Isn't it amazing news? Don't ruffle my feathers, Lewis. Those days are long gone. We're just here for the entertainment. Or something like that. I see. That's a shame. See you inside. He's so cute. Aww. I just want to pet him. Aww. Something to do, my <laughs> pal. Cute, but I'll buddy. try to make it for the main event. Okay then, catch you later, pal. Uh, well, that wasn't helpful. Again. Talk with me again, okay. Look, Lewis, <laughs> that bouncer over there. Uh. <laughs> well, yes, he is a bit intimidating, but his manners are impeccable. Am I right? Yes, indeed, but it seems tonight we're not on his list. Mm -hmm. Oh! <clears throat> I see you. Uh, um. Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> You'd like to go in, but he won't let you. <laughs> yeah, something like that. No, 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 no problem at all. Uh, come with me. I'll t t t talk to him. Much okay. obliged, pal. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, geez, what the hell's wrong with you, Marty? What? Did I say something wrong? <sighs> okay, can we now just head over to the bouncer again? You should be able to. Okay. Sir! Ah! How'd you do? Everything's fine, Mr. Aworth. Good. <clears throat> uh, look, this noble pair of pigeons are my friends. They're on the list, okay? Merci la mon, sir. <laughs> and as for you, <clears throat> you owe me one, gentlemen. Thanks, old pal. It was my Ooh. pleasure to help you. As always. We made it around the first puzzle, kind of, <laughs> I would suppose. Yeah, kind Let's of. get in there. The jazz overwhelmed us. There was no band in sight, yet the music seeped from the walls like years of cigarette smoke and the smell of spilt whiskey. 
Behind the bar, rows of fancy bottles reflected the harmonious voices of pretty dames and the clinking of crystal glass. It was the kind of place that makes you drunk, even if you've never had a sip. A dangerous place for someone like me. No matter how alien I felt, it was strangely like coming home. Welcome to the Tsar. Well, here we are. Mother of... I take you to the nicest places, eh, sweetheart? <laughs> oh, does it mean you're buying, honey? Oh, great. Don't even think about it. Oh, men these days. So, we're here to find a dame called Natasha. I have a hunch she won't be hard to find. Let's mingle and try to avoid suspicion. Just like oh. always. No, Marty, not like always. This time, it's for real. I just saw someone in the comments uh, saying that they can't wait to play it. Um, if you haven't already, you can play the demo, um, which we're playing right now. Exactly. Play it for yourself. Um, it's for free and check it out. Um, yeah, I posted the link uh, in the comments right now. So you can check it out if you haven't already. Yeah. You can also um, come to our Discord channel. Um, there you can even talk with the developers if you're interested. You can ask them any questions if you like, or just come over for some chit, -ch uh, chit chat if you're feeling for it. I don't know. Just stop by. <laughs> exactly, and I'm just uh, taking that all yeah. in. <laughs> okay, bartender. Let's talk to the bartender. Two whiskeys, kid, and no horsing around. Oh, God. Where is it? <laughs> There's the button. I've never heard that one before. I love him so much. Uh, Sonny, you gotta drive, you know? Yeah, you're right, Marty. Hey, long face. Give me a glass of tap water, too, okay? okay? So offensive. Yes, sir. Coming right up. That wasn't exactly what I meant. <laughs> As I recall, you're always bragging about hiding your shotgun in your coat so well, no one can see it. Sure. Maybe I have it with me now. <laughs> <sighs> what? Well, do you see that bottle, Marty? That's a 28-year-old Golden Eagle whiskey. Of all the furry gods, you're right. <laughs> and they've just left it on the bar. Someone ordered it, got so drunk he forgot all about it. So we're confiscating it as evidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, more like it. But if it's easier for you. Ah, uh, you're twisted, pal. But to be honest, I've no objections. 28-year-old whiskey. That sounds delicious. Oh god, it's so it's so great. Don't know where to start. So much to look around. sure we have about five minutes left officially okay um, then uh, we will try to at least make it so guide me i think stage maybe um finding you'll natasha you'll have to talk with uh phil phil He's there the bird philmar yeah. okay first looking hey yes. there's philmar who oh yes philmar because that's what he calls him you know him well we had some seriously wild cases together. Sounds good. Like, yeah, it was the exact opposite. Okay, Philmar, let's see. Well, well, if it isn't the great detective, Marlowe. Blow me, Sonny, you know I don't use that name anymore. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Dumbass Alias, Phil Ma So says someone <laughs> who tried to go undercover with a Feather Pillow Mafia is a turkey. Right, Mr. Turk Cayman? <laughs> hey, that was a Great. long time ago. I was young. And I stick to my principles and my stupidity. Phil Marlowe and that's that. Don't rile me up, you old fart. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Sorry, I'm a little clapped tonight. Uh, I know the feeling, pal. By the way, what are you two doing here? We stick out. Man, you look terrible. Don't even ask. I feel exactly like that. <laughs> You want a case? Five feet tall, half of that legs, angelic voice, demonic eyes, just the usual. Oh boy. And you? Something like that. 
Just don't know the exact numbers yet. Yeah, she owns the joint, amongst others. Well, mm. good luck, guys. That broad has a reputation. Any oh, useful no. information? For free? Stop clucking around. All right, but just because of the old days. Look for me after you've talked to her. You wouldn't understand what I have to say about her before then. Don't leave unless you're thrown out. In which case, you know the drill. We don't know each other. I'll deny you in a blink. Oh. Good to see you too, old pal. We'll be back. Oh, okay. Oh, so it seems... Uh, a new person has arrived. Where is he? Yes. Okay. I We should talk to Ibn. Just oh, add nonchalant, my friend. No, it can't be. What now? Is that Olivia? No, Marty. <laughs> hey, uh, Olivia. Are you talking to me? <laughs> it's me, Marty McChicken. Oh, God. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. The roaster coppers in person. Uh -oh. Chicken police. But yeah, Mr. Wessler, you could say so. The name's... Sunny Featherland, of course, of course. Chicken police. Your partner is uh, Marty McChicken, sir. I, I just introduced myself <laughs> to your lady companion <laughs> seconds ago. Oh, oh so yeah. Good. I'm so happy to see you. So oh, happy. Boys. So, to what do we all need to rush, gentlemen? I'm just. Let me check the schedule real quick. We'll have a longer break after Chicken Police. So, right. Or do we? No, it's just also half an hour. Okay, so we try to make ourselves through the demo. We're just so yeah, invested so and uh, <laughs> we, we all the dialogue is, you know. The neighborhood and we just don't want to skip it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Cut the crap, Marty. All right, we're here for your sweetheart, Natasha. Oh, I see. No big deal. Just a blackmail thing. You know, horrifying threats written on the wall with blood red paint, the usual stuff. You must be familiar with this kind of thing. Oh, yeah, indeed. It's a nasty business. But I didn't know Natasha hired a detective because of this simple matter. But to be honest, I understand. I would have taken matters into my own hands, you see. But I'm kind of busy. Right. Mr. Wessler had a meeting with Attorney General Hamtaro yesterday, so... Oh, dear Olivia, it's okay. These gentlemen are just doing their job, right? We've got a few questions, if you don't mind. I'm at your service. Okay. You should ask about Natasha. Look, Detective, if you want to know something, just... All right, Mr. Wessler. Now you can stop asking. Ah, okay. Wessler is a tricky guy. Unfortunately, I don't know mm -hmm. enough about him, so I have to be cunning. I can't just pin him against a wall. Oh, yeah. God, I will screw up tremendously. <laughs> okay, impressions. Tricky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we How have to be cunning. How did you feel when you heard about the blackmail? Honestly, I found it ridiculous. And now? Now I'm kind of interested. But I wouldn't call it blackmail yet. They're just empty threats. There were no demands. Good point. Thank you. Are we done? No, not quite. I'm sorry to hear that. How wrong can it be? Why didn't you just call the police? Huh? Why? What would have been the use of that? A few messages aren't enough for a case. You should know that. Harassment makes for a case. So do threats. Who were you trying to convince, Sonny? Huh? They would have laughed in my face. Anyway, you know, the police station. Once I set foot in there, <laughs> nah, I'm not coming out again. Your lawyers are yeah. too good for that, Eben. Yeah, I guess you're right, chicken. Uh, okay. We will just YOLO this. 
Hmm? Why would anyone have reason to blackmail your girlfriend? I don't know. Uh, maybe because she's my girlfriend? <laughs> you think that's enough? It's plenty enough. Good point. Oh, are you finally getting to a point? Or do you really want to dig around in my private life? Okay, he did uh, like that, as it seems. People who do that end up in the alley. If you catch my drift. Very much so, Mr. Wessler. Wessler is tougher mm -hmm. than I thought. And he's secretive. It's time to gently beat around the bush. Do you spend a lot of your time here? Maybe we try this. That's a strange question, you know. Humor me. <laughs> of course I spend a lot of time here. I'm here every time Natasha performs. Sadly, yeah, it's getting rarer. Is it compatible with your other businesses? Huh? What? Writing threatening messages and hiding them? <laughs> I didn't say that. You're sly for a foul for the end. But this ain't your territory, is it? I guess not, Mr. Wessler. Hmm. I wasn't so bad. <laughs> no. Business going well, Mr. Wessler? Eh, depends on which one. Real estate, catering, charity, protection, oh God. extortion. <laughs> Maybe this was not good. <laughs> contraband, the usual. Funny guy. How are the casinos? <laughs> Fine, thank you. Yeah. Damn, if only I knew that. I heard gambling was illegal. Ooh. <laughs> and I've heard you're not on the force at the moment. Then it seems we have a fair fight. On <laughs> uneven ground, Mr. Featherland. I'm not sure I'd stand on it for long if I were you. That was candid. Yeah, I try to be clear. Okay. So, our detective meter says we are like... Quick-tempered. Okay, you look. Start talking straight, Wessler. There's no point in wasting each other's time. You know what? You're right. And there's no point in spoiling my mood, is there? Olivia will Oopsie. show you out, but if you insist, yeah, I can give you an alternative escort. Is that straight enough for you? Nice one, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Mr. Wessler, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Don't be so cocky, copper. It can be dangerous at your age. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ooh, oh. minus 60. Ooh, I mean, I saw that coming, kind of, right but ouch. That hurt. Yikes. Yeah, you don't beat around the bush, do you? Hm. Understandable, I guess. Naturally, our relationship is stable and perfect. I rarely hear such poetry. So, you have your answer. No reason. Hm. Wouldn't you like to know? It would make my job easier. Yeah, it would only lead you astray. Ibn is quick-tempered, and I can use that to my advantage. Mm -hmm. I've... Uh... <laughs> the mob boss and the pussycat, eh? Huh? Are you trying to piss me off, Corpora, so I accidentally let some big secret slip out? Huh? A simple answer would work. <sighs> you know, Natasha... She's both connoisseur and muse. Uh, uh, so, uh... You don't mm -hmm. remember? That's straight. Ah, yeah. The millions, of course. It was like another lifetime. It happened right here. Only this place was called the millions back then. Hm. I guess she was willing. The next day, she had the club in her name. Well, okay. That is romantic. Yeah, there are many kinds of romance, Birdman. Uh, oh, it's not that bad. Do you live in the same house as... Oh, you're really something. Natasha's a free woman, but most... Mm, how often does she use the weekend app? Yeah, every other weekend. Roughly. I see. That's very... Yeah, if you say so. Okay. Is she... Com as I've told you, Natasha's a free woman. Are you afraid for? I never said a black car doesn't drive by two or three times a day, but... I suppose not. Okay. So Natasha feels like she's in grave danger, yet... She... Yeah, I know what you're getting at. Hmm. Illegal gambling night. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah, you're right. 
isn't it? Always putting it all on the red. Yeah, you're a real rotten bastard, Sonny. <laughs> Although, yeah. So, oh God. can we meet your lady? <laughs> There's so much overtime. <laughs> I don't see why not. Sorry, guys. But for Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, now we see. Uh, it's, uh, decent I'm, cop. Decent cop. I can live with decent. <laughs> Oof. Thank you for your time. I have no doubt about that. Hey, uh, we should... Uh, Pleasure to meet you, gentlemen. Oh, oh Marty. Please take a seat. The show. Okay. I think the demo is over after this, right? Um, Pretty yeah. much. Okay. It's dead. That was, um, unique. Couldn't have put it better. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that is cute. Nobody has ever given me such a unique compliment before. Oh, boy. Natasha, Natasha's voice is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Forgive me, my name is... Santino Featherland. I thought so. You look more or less like I imagined. <laughs> more or less? Sometimes less is more, Mr. Featherland. Ahem. <clears throat> you... Could you be my little furball and fetch me a cocktail? <laughs> but of course. Of course. <laughs> Eben will be back soon. We'll okay. have a few minutes to talk. Then he'll end the conversation and throw you both out. <laughs> With all due respect. <sighs> Doesn't matter, he'll do okay. it. That's why I'm telling you. I don't Does it even see make sense for me to click through this? Are we upstairs. nearly there yet? Or... Meet me there We're in nearly there. Minutes. Okay. Come alone. Hey, I understand. You know, they call him Target Marty at the station. <laughs> I don't have time, Mr. Featherland. Oh, sure thing, Natasha. I'll come to your room. Three knocks, a short pause, then another three. I'll be waiting. Go, before he comes back. I see. I knew she was trouble the first time I saw her. Okay. Skip that for now. Oh. Next time oh, okay. on Chicken Police. I get offended if women don't drink in my company. Oh, you are a funny guy. Fucking hell. Welcome to the sweltering Nile, gentlemen. Marty, that's enough. Then two cocks suddenly learn to fly and even swim by God. <laughs> One more word and I'll bite off your arm. Please tell me there's gonna be a glorious shootout. Keep it straight, Sonny. Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow. Of all that's furry and gloomy, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's stop it right there. What a great way to end this little stream for now. That was the demo for Chicken Police. Uh, yeah, we were... We just completely went into the game and played it. So there was... 
not a lot of opportunity for us to really talk. I mean, just a very suspenseful story that you can follow around here. Mm -hmm. As we mentioned already, the demo is out on Steam. You can check it out for yourself. It's free, so head over there, jump into it, explore all the different characters for yourselves. And yeah, um, up next we will have... Oh, I can't quite read it. I think it's... Uh, is it? Is it Airhead? No. Uh, should. It's Antling. It's Antling. Antling. Up next we will have another... Um, developer stream yes. with Antling, so we will have some very great insights. So we will not, um, you know, steal more time of preparation for the other guys. Um, thank you for watching. Um, up next, there will be Philip and Consti, I think, mm -hmm. going through the, with the developers through something with um, Antling. So thank you, and see you maybe later again. See ya. Bye bye. bye. Rough night in Clawville. What now? Well, let's gather my stuff and head to the club. One bizarre case to solve. What a pleasant surprise. The looks the cop was in person. <sighs> Never heard that one before. You here for a good old fashioned beating? A dame to die for. We gotta find out who this Natasha is and what she wants from us. I mean, what does she really want? Lawrence? Let loose your animal instincts. After you, boss bird. Because tonight, you'll have to go wild. Blow me, Sonny. You know I don't use that name anymore. The legendary chicken police is back together. It's an amazing news. Say, partner. Are you chicken enough?